first at 10, the Luzerne County District Attorney announcing a major arrest in regards to ghost guns that were discovered in Plains Township last week. Good evening, I'm Aaron Leedy. Ann Lurie has the night off. An investigation by multiple departments led to the discovery of more than 20 ghost guns and the makings of a Glock switch. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules live with more on the investigation. Alicia. Aaron, after a search warrant and investigation was conducted, Jose Rodriguez, a repeat felon, was charged with multiple counts of person not to possess firearms. New developments tonight after the Plains Township Police Department received information from a civilian last week regarding suspicious materials that were found in a dumpster. Those suspicious materials were the makings of Glock switches. The pieces of the firearms were printed by a 3D printer. The Luzerne County District Attorney's Office alleges Jose Rodriguez was in the process of preparing to sell those firearms to others who were not supposed to be in possession of firearms. A Glock switch is a small device that can be attached to the rear side of a Glock handgun to convert it to a semi-automatic pistol, which enables it to fully automatically fire are so dangerous is because they can get into the hands of people without going through the proper channels, you know, a background check, and also they're unserialized, so they're untraceable uh, to, to the, a large extent unless you get the ballistics from them. Ghost guns are untraceable guns without serial numbers that can be created at home or purchased online. Anyone prohibited from owning a gun under state and federal laws can't buy, sell, or create ghost guns either. Joseph Price, the assistant special agent in charge of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, says that these sightings of ghost guns have been becoming more and more common with the rise in popularity of 3D printing. I'm seeing it more and more frequently, not just the lowers, but, but the, uh, we talked about the machine gun conversion device, the Glock switches, those I've, I've been seeing for a while now, and, and, and they're very dangerous. Uh, they're, they're dangerous, like I said, I, I stick to my by what I said, they're dangerous to law enforcement and the community. Price warns that hefty charges will be coming to any convicted felon involved in purchasing or manufacturing these ghost guns. This person who was prohibited, who should not have firearms, if you continue to do this, um, law enforcement will continue to investigate. And along with the, the investigation, the prosecution will continue and we will not stop. Rodriguez was denied bail and is being held at the Luzerne County Correctional Facility. His preliminary hearing is scheduled for March 27th. Reporting live from the News Center, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, First to 10.